If I go to my bento box menu and I go down to Jamboard, this is a powerful service made by Google and it's great for sharing ideas quickly. So here's how to set up one. Click on the plus in the corner. From here you've got a blank canvas. You can have about 12 pages that you can go through at the top. You should start to see that pretty much all the Google uh, services that we've been looking at over the training are all pretty much laid out in the same way. Icons are the same, sometimes they're just in different places. Okay, so I've just changed the backdrop. If you're using this and connecting it to an actual interactive whiteboard, you could actually control this with a pen and do some writing on the board. It will show up on here. There's an eraser function below that to be able to rub out any mistakes. If you um, use the arrow, the cursor to move things about, just note that you can't actually move the text. Once you've written the text on, you need to use the rubber to rub it out. The sticky note function is great because it just pre-makes a uh, sticky note template. Uh, you can choose a colour and you can just click save and then just make another one quickly. This saves a lot of time rather than in some programs you might have to draw a text box, do the background colour, select the font. You can resize the sticky notes, you can rotate them. Uh, when you've got a lot of work on the page, if you want to move things forward and backwards, you just click on the kebab menu in the corner, and from here you can select the order, move things forward and backwards. You can use this button to open up images again, just like we've done in previous programs. Uh, you can do a Google image search direct from within there. Choose the image you want, click insert, that'll put it in there. You can resize it, rotate it. What's nice is because this is such a uh, large canvas, because it's designed for large whiteboards, if you go to uh, print this, you can save it as a PDF and uh, print it. It looks really nice in A3 or A4. Some shape tools. You can change colours and backgrounds at the top. The top menu changes depending on what you have selected on the page. So because we've now um, using a text box, uh, the top bit, what we call the ribbon, from here we can adjust sizing, uh, colours of the text, alignment, etc. And this last button down here is a laser tool, so you can just, while you're talking, highlight over things, and it will just linger for a few seconds. It helps focus some of the children. So if you're wanting to share this document with other teachers uh, in your team, you'd click on share and from here you could type in the range of email addresses. I found it's really useful to have a pre-made list and just cut and paste the whole list in there. It's much quicker. If we're looking at this from the point of view as a collaboration tool uh, with students, it's great for collecting pupil voice, um, their ideas and answers very quickly. I've found it good that you can actually um, maybe give uh, different groups a different page on the board and they can log in. So the, the setup for pupils is slightly different. What I suggest doing is going in to your Jamboard and creating what you want to share with them first. So I, I usually like to have the first page uh, with some instructions of what we're doing. It's sometimes nice to lay some ground rules here uh, such as uh, you know, don't move anyone else's sticky note, um, respond appropriately, etc. Through the magic of video editing, I'm just going to speed this up 
and change it into a little shared document about space, imagining it's the topic that I want the children uh, to give me some information, maybe they can share some facts that they already know. This gives me a good starting point of uh, where to build upon the children's knowledge. Uh, as I'm going along, all of this is automatically saved in my drive uh, that we looked at earlier when we saved our Word document. So I'm going to go to Google Classroom now and from here I'm going to create a new assignment. And usually we've been letting the student have a copy and make a copy for each student every time we've edited something. But for this one, we're going to allow students to all edit the same document so that they get access to it. By making it an assignment in Google Classroom, it means that we can revisit it very quickly and maybe build upon it over the term, adding new information to new pages as the children gain more knowledge. The location of your Jamboard is going to be saved in your Google Drive. Uh, when you click on the Google Drive, if you've just made the Jamboard, it should come up in Recent, so it's probably one of the first things that we see here. There we go. And then I can just click Insert. And then from here I just need to make sure that I select that the students can edit the file. To keep it all organised, I'm going to create a new topic called Space. And just click assign and that will now add every student as an editor of that file and here you can see in the classroom nice and neatly stored away is the Jamboard very easy for the children to access and edit